What is up everyone and welcome to our first episode of Tough Enough, aka episode 110 of Universe. And kicking us off in the tournament is the Crusader. Now I have to go through the Tough Enough rules. Okay. So we have got a tournament bracket and there will be a winner in the match but that doesn't determine if they're going to progress to the next round because we're going to have the subscribers vote for which person in this particular bracket goes through. So at the end of this match Crusader might win but... He might not go through because the other person might put up a great fight, they might be more entertaining and also it takes out our skill ability so instead of say me winning all matches and all my guys progressing, yep. that's not fair so we're going to have, as I said, the subscribers via straw poll determine who goes through so basically this is just to showcase these matches or what these guys can do in the ring and uh, the subscribers pick their favourite to go through so it could either be the Crusader or Zayze to go through to the next round so uh, look in the description below, that's where all the poll information will be and where you can vote for your favourite and who to go through. So obviously the first poll will be ZZ versus Crusader, so it's up to them now to show you that they're tough enough and also how entertaining they are as well. So hopefully that makes sense and that'll happen all throughout the quarterfinals and the semi-finals and then the final at WrestleMania. We'll just play it then and whoever wins that match, there won't be any polls whatsoever, it'll be just whoever wins is the winner of tough enough and will get themselves a contract for Series 2 of Universe Mode and to go on whatever brand they so wish. Okay. I think that's explained everything. I do. So we've got Zayze out here. Now, Crusader didn't have any description with him, but Zayze is Vow Who Denies It Only Become Prey. That is Zesus 5-1. <laughs> so let's get into our first Tough Enough match. Remember, the winner basically means nothing oh the winner means everything that might be how you vote i'm not sure but look for who you're entertained by the most basically okay so i've decided to go as the crusader and zz okay decent reversal i should say the crusader as we've had to bring a, a couple of superstars down as they were over 90 the crusader overall 79 modest yes typical brit <laughs> I quite like the gimmick of Crusader. It's definitely different. Yeah. And he had just a hard hitting face. It's like, yeah, he's tough enough. He doesn't even yeah. have to go through the next round. He's tough enough now. <clears throat> he's on top here against Zayze. Oh, Zayze. Nice reversal there. Oh. It was you wanted Zayze, wasn't it? As, yep. uh, he was up against a couple of other guys who had kind of like a dance thing. And... Uh, what did you like? I'm about liking him? the color scheme. It's yeah. different. Black, a nice blue. He's got a different look to him. Oh, I was what then? I had no idea. Oh my god. Power shot by Zayze. Zayze is right on the cusp of a 90 overall, by the way. Ooh. Yeah. Let's see what taunts we've got. Okay, that works. So, first quarter final. If you had to guess, who do you think the subscriber's going to vote for in this one? Before we've even seen the match. Just if it's going by looks alone. Zayze. Zayze. Oh dear, oh dear. I think Crusader needs to uh, let his actions in the ring speak for him, which okay. he's uh, struggling with at the moment. Referee getting involved. Oh! I think he's just he's answered back you. on the map. <laughs> Off the ropes. Another hip toss. Quite a methodical approach. Ooh. His momentum's not as good as Zayze's, but hopefully, by the time he does get to a signature and a finisher, the match might be all over then. Get on! That move. Vicious. Just like that. Look at the health situation. I don't understand the story behind the scar on his throat. Can you see it? Yeah, I was wondering what it's that was. It's actually a mark right there. It's looking like a burn or something. Yeah. A battle wound. Close now. Oh, Zayze fighting back just before a signature can connect. And that's giving Zayze his finisher. Oh, he's toying with the crowd here. <laughs> oh, I won't get up first. Oh, school board powerbomb. God, that takes a lot of strength. It does. Good lord. Desperately getting the Crusader back up here. Is it? Uh, oh, oh no. into a bear hug! Into a bear hug! 
Ah. It's simplistic by the Crusader. The main thing though, is it effective? It doesn't look it right now, but... It's trying to take all the air out of Zizi's lungs. Mm. Oh, they got him into yellow damage. Whoa. Not great there. Oh, jab just stopping the finisher and a bangerang. God, oh, the finish connects on Crusader. He's in orange damage, but he's still got a bit of yellow health. He's oh. got resiliency as well, and he doesn't need to use it. Too early for that. Oh, is that a reverse not in? Oh, I thought you were going to escape. I don't feel right escaping with a Crusader. Stays and fights. Oh, he did just get drilled into a ring post. Oh, oh no! Oh. Pushing away! No! The finisher! And it's quite a brutal one as well. <gasps> the second reversal point was there, Crusader! God! Oh, God! God! <laughs> Ain't no one getting from that! Oh, it is, it is, though. Oh my God! Oh, look at the mark. What's all that about? Hmm. Interesting. Whoa, okay. I didn't know that was going to go down. Must be in the car. Oh no! I went for a jab. Why have I just stopped? I'm pressing it. I oh, know I can't reverse as well. <laughs> Screw it! <laughs> it's going to cost us easy. <laughs> get Stage fright. What? Stage fright. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. The big moves are coming out now. God. Oh. The ropes, if you can, zaze it. Mm, okay, I'm going here. Big run up. What's it gonna be? God! <laughs> That's not what you want. No, nope, definitely not. Oh my god, look at him. I like he's gonna get knighted. <laughs> How's that just giving me a finisher there? God damn it. It's okay. Not to worry. Backup plan for the Crusader. I didn't know putting someone on the ropes got you a finisher. No, I wasn't aware of that. Instead of waiting around. Oh! No, no, oh not going for that. God. Not going for that. Oh God. He's going up top. He's going up top. He's going big. God! Damn it, Bob! He's still got the resiliency. He's going to have to use it, surely. Yes! Yes, okay. I give me the ref. One more finisher, Crusader. And it's our Charlotte. Oh, oh so quick, Zizi. Look at these moves. Slaps as well. Ooh, nice. Whoa. Holy crap. Mm. Interacts with the crowd a lot more than the Crusader, Zizi. It's all about the people. It's the people all about him though. Oh no! Boom! Oh, Pelly! There you go. This is it. The big finish. Crusader's got a resiliency. I think it's going to be a mad dash to see who can get the next finisher. Because <laughs> that means it's over. Spin it around. Face first. Right onto the ribs as well. I think it was orange da Oh, now it's red damage and an orange head for the Crusader. Yeah. He's worse off than Zeze now. <gasps> Where's the resiliency gone? Oh! Where's the resiliency gone? Oh, oh my Crusader god! On a kick out! Although it doesn't really matter the win and loss, nobody wants to lose in the first match of Tough Enough, no. do they? Especially the first match. Not just the first round. So right now I'm putting up top. I'm big now. And I think it's safe to say now's the mad rush to the final finish. <laughs> oh, what a face buster. Oh. I'm waiting for the first one to uh, utilise breakout in the entrance. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> What's the deal? So Zeze has been on top for the last two minutes. Need to get the Crusader back in this one. Big punch. Ooh. He's out of the corner now. Oh, 
Maybe it's the stat advantage coming into play. Oh, no! I'm going to say, though, they've both shown that they are marginally tough enough for kicking out both uh, finishes early on. Oh, yeah, yeah. No giving either of them. Imagine if we have a squash match and he gets voted through, whoever gets uh, squashed. It can happen. It could. A sympathy vote. <laughs> right. What's my momentum here? Why did you get momentum That's for putting weird. him on the ropes? Oh, God. Oh, oh yes. God. We haven't seen this since Sandow. Time to be thrown across the ring again, Zezé. <gasps> oh no! Reversed into an hand drag. That's a finisher for Zezé now. No! God! Three times now, the Crusaders had that moved on to him. Remember though, he's got the mysterious resiliency. He has. I wonder if it were only because he had a finisher. Oh no, he's not got it. First victor! <sighs> Zezé! They're tough enough. You gotta give he, it to both of them though. You've gotta and has he done enough though to go through with the subscriber vote? Remember, it doesn't go through automatically, it's up to the subscribers to vote between the Crusader and Zezé, so who impressed you more in that match? They both gave their all and in the end it took three finishes to put down the Crusader. He almost had Zezé himself though, he went for the big finish. Zezé reversed at the end. And the final bangerang. And there you go. The final finisher. And as he said, thou who denies Zé, only become prey. So the first victor of Tough Enough is Zezé. Is that enough to get him through to the semi-finals? We'll have to find out in a future episode. But for now, we move on to our second match of Tough Enough. So, our next match is involving Akira versus LB Ace. Akira with a bit of controversy in the uh, showcase video, which we uploaded the other day, because his finisher wasn't the most brutal, <laughs> seeing as he took himself out more than his opponent. But I've been told, if you pull it off correctly, it's amazing. Okay. So I've decided to keep it on him. The risk reward is there. Yes. So let's get his opponent out here then in our second quarter final. So as I said, it is LBA. So our first poll will be the Crusader versus Zezé and our second one will be LBA versus Akira Koyabashi. So I wonder who's going to get through to the semi-finals in this one. You describe this guy as an evil Callisto. That's what he looked like when I first saw him. If Callisto uh, had more of his uh, steak and veg when he were a kid, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. what he'd be turned into. LB Ace. This is the Okay, so I've decided to go as Ikira Koyabashi. I'm LB Ace. Ooh, good start here. So who's going to join? Oh no, this is it. He's one of the winners, oh what's that? Love it. But remember, the winners don't automatically go through. The most entertaining people do. That was already a what? great move, and look at this! Around the houses. These two have not started off slow. That is knee. It's not where you want to receive The thing is, they'll have to come out and try and up the match they just saw yeah. previously. Oh. God! Oh, how did you roll out of that one? Oh! Good God. I don't know, but I'm going out 100 miles an hour, yeah? There you go. Super kicks mean nothing now. Maybe Ace needs to get up quickly. Only 19% off, basically, for Akira towards a signature. Maybe Ace still got plus 50 to go. Oh, and he's going to need more now, as it's going to be blocked. Oh, I could have gone for a signature. Nice kick to the face. LBA still blocked. Maybe Bash has still got a signature here. God Buster GTS. Boom! Ooh! Shall we try and see it? Let's go for it. Is it going to be the one where it takes himself out or is it going to connect perfectly? He's taking himself out! <laughs> He's taking himself out! No! I'll try and pull that off right. 
in the end. It's gone dramatically wrong, though. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it has. <laughs> Ridiculous. I've done the finisher to you. Well, you tried. Quite a fancy moveset so far from LBS. Oh, that ain't fancy. Yeah. That ain't fancy. Really fancy. <laughs> Spoke too soon. I've still got interferences turned on, by the way. Oh, God. Which means a WWE superstar could always interfere in any of these matches. Maybe the good Callisto might run down. The pure-hearted Callisto. Oh, we got a signature. Oh, man! God. Absolutely dominating. <laughs> Oh, too late. Oh, no. I thought you'd reverse that then. Another knee right to the face. Straight after the one in the corner as well. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh reversed, no. reversed. Nice. Look what I've got again. Look what I've got again. I'm blocked as well. He's blocked. I can get a perfect hit on this. Right, someone said do it as close as you can when you run at him. Oh, I did the other one. Oh. You see, need that. I've got a directional one and a non-directional running one. Why did I go for the pin then? It didn't feel I like I had a finisher. I kind of want to pull off the other one, that's why. Uh-oh. I would just say <laughs> I didn't expect Alberto Del Rio Alberto's to Alberto's pissed that we're overlooking him to bring in these rookies. This is the first time we've ever seen Alberto Del Rio. Yeah, <laughs> he's pissed that we're overlooking him. <laughs> LBS is corner, isn't he? Really? Is it the Mexican connection? Oh, you reversed it as well. Now, the thing is, is this going to cost LBS a chance? We have a chair coming in now. I mean, how will the subscribers take to that? Will Akira now be the underdog or will they like the uh, sinister underbrewing of LBS? There we go. Don't need to hmm. use the chair, do we? The wild connections there. What was going on? That was weird as well because we didn't plan this. This is all an exhibition. This. Oh! And as just as I was saying it, I had the feeling that actually they might run in. I've gone for the other one. I've gone for the other. No, no, no. Oh. It, it might have worked then. <laughs> it might have, it might have not worked though. <laughs> that might have been the chance. No, Akira! This is brutal. God, no! Oh, no! Oh, my God. He's not giving it. It's actually not showing it from the worst angle. Is Akira going to get out? We've already got our first underdog in Tough Enough. I think his foot's basically touching his head there. That's crazy. The thing for LBS is, how can the subscribers vote for him if he needs help from Alberto Del Rio? Mm. But did he ask for help? That's yeah. the question. He hasn't used it yet. He didn't pick up the chair, which was good. Come on, Akira, you can get out of this. Oh, no. Look at his back. Look at his back. It's gone into orange. Got to stop it before it gets into red. That's when we're in real trouble. Oh. Got oh. it. Mm. Right to the head. Vicious elbow. God. Oh, Again. God, what happened to my body then? <laughs> it's alright though, as you've got the uh, Romanesque shield protection on. Alberto just standing back. I love that's how his only appearance this series. We've put him on tough enough. He's like a mentor. Yeah, I, I just imagine he's frustrated to be honest. He's come out of his own will. <laughs> God, oh, I think I reversed that every no. time. Just the ref is distracting. It's not going to get him anywhere. Watch you hit it perfectly on the ref because somehow gets it worse. <laughs> Whoa, oh, what was that? It was amazing. It was amazing. I should connect to oh, the balls. <laughs> Into the Pinakira. It was worth the wait. No! Oh! <laughs> How is this legal? It's meant to be a competition. Oh my god! God damn it! 
That was amazing! And then Del Rio just screwed him! <laughs> oh! <laughs> He's just been ejected. Quite rightly so. He shouldn't be anywhere near here. You didn't see Booker T and Billy Gunn getting involved. Oh my god. Whoa. Nice. That's a one-on-one -on -one now. I thought it were over when you did that. It was a glorious <laughs> move. I didn't do anything different to the other running move though before when I did it. I threw a charge, so I have no idea how to pull it off. just be distance. I might have had one chance to pull it off in my entire lifetime, and Alberto Del Rio has just ruined it. <laughs> God, they've both got the same signature, haven't they? This was quite effective. We're going to go for it again. Akira busted open. Is he going to show it from the nasty angle oh, this time? Akira, you've just been screwed over by Alberto Del Rio. Look so at that. Oh, it's over. It's over. Akira. No. Akira. <sighs> Alberto Del Rio helping LBS get the victory. There's a lot to answer for there, Alberto. But, as we keep saying, victories don't really matter. I mean, obviously it helps, I guess, in terms of momentum, but the subscribers... That move's going to do a lot Akira. for him, I think. And I think the interruption from Alberto Del Rio yeah. is going to do a hell of a lot. But the subscribers might have liked that. A bit of a nasty side from LBS. Maybe a bit of a tactical thinking, you know. Nobody said you can't have interruptions, innit? Yeah, it was never uh, stipulated. So, our first two winners, Azeze and LBS, but I still don't know who's going to progress to the semi-final. Akira, though, you could say he might have got the victory if Alberto didn't distract the referee. And now moving to our final match of Tough Enough Part 1. So, the final match of Part 1 of Tough Enough in the quarterfinals. It's going to be Havoc versus... Cameron Diamond. Now, Havoc, he has a saying. Okay. Do you want to know what his is? Go for it. All will fall to the chaotic spike. I would have to presume that is his finisher. Yes. And if you watch the showcase video, you would have seen it. It's kind of like a flying forearm. Yes. Just elbow right to the face. Havoc, one of the first to be selected, actually, in our Tough Enough contest. Really like this call. Going into a lot of detail. So... Get Cameron Diamond out here. So here is Cameron Diamond. He's got the gimmick. Now he did have another saying before. And he said, uh, I believe it was Diamond's are a girl's best friend. But he's changed that when I looked back. And uh, his little quote now is self proclaimed king of diamonds. Diamond versus Havoc. Let's see how this one goes. Okay, so I've gone as Havoc. I am Diamond. Cool. Perfect! <laughs> what the F was that? <laughs> when I was getting the moves for the video, I discovered that he had that on. I'm like, that is awesome. I thought you were running away from me. <laughs> Diamond pops out. I have the feeling Cameron Diamond would be super athletic. Yes. Why? I think he's just got that look about him. He might have had a former history in the NFL, something like that. Okay. Like that Tito, I can't remember what he's called, they had him on uh, Tough Enough, not Tough Enough. Um, you know that NXT documentary they had? Oh, right, yeah. Former NFL player. Throps! There we go. Hopefully no interference in this one, but you never know. You never know. It depends who they've got on as allies, I think, doesn't it? Because no like, people are actually going to run down for the sake of it. Building towards that chaotic spike. Ah, oh, it's a reversal from Diamond. Right to the top of the head, and that's got him a signature. Ooh, nice. That was quick. He's got no reversals, though. Oh, but Havoc's blocked. Havoc's blocked. Oh, oh, he oh missed you it. are he super lucky. Havoc. Oh, it's oh. at me. Get himself back into this one whilst Diamond holds on to that signature though. Oh, 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 oh. that were a bit low. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Just measuring Cameron Diamond here. 
Oh, he's missed it this time. What was he going for? What the heck? <laughs> Get down. Never go for the flashy twice. Just be happy that you pulled it off once. Oh, running forearm for his signature. How it's going to get out of there. Just a stare down between these two. Oh, oh, that might be a poor choice from Cameron oh, Diamond. And it was. Oh, yeah, big neck breaker. Oh, go. How it's sliding in. So he's going to join. He's easy. From Roller Dancing. <laughs> and LBS as the first winners. In the tough enough episode. Oh my god, his legs buckled as well. Really? Yeah. Oh no! That's his Boom. second finisher. Havoc might be done here. That'd be embarrassing. Is that <gasps> That'd be embarrassing. Oh. Oh. Cameron Diamond's main finisher is the pop up power slam, one of the new moves. Oh, he's rolled out of that. That's nice. Ooh. Oh my god, that was a front punch. Oh, he took his chin off. Let's, okay, let's go top rope. It's not a part of his signatures, but I'll use it regardless. Let's see what he's got up here. Oh my god, take Oh, he's gone for the oh coup de Oh my god. Oh. That connects. Right, nice. And signature. Oh. Oh, what a combination. I see what he's trying to do now. Nice setup to the chaotic spike. Look at Cameron Diamond's head. Oh my word. Uh oh, oh fine, we're fine. Fine. Too much. That's nice though. Spinning back fist and then you hit him straight away with the chaotic spike. I see what you try to do there. What you try to do. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear is right. Can you get... Pop up power slam this time. Cameron Diamond's looking for it. Oh, off the ropes. Oh, oh it's a no. reversal by Havoc. And you know the combination again. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Brutal. Oh, God. One. Two. Three. Oh, so close. Havoc picks up the victory. But has he done enough to go through to the next round? Look at that! That's how it started! Oh god. Poor thing for the subscribers is they never saw Cameron hit his main finisher. No. So will they uh, vote him to go through to the next round just to see that, or will Havoc go through? We'll have to find out in a few days. Boom, look at that. Sweat flying off. Havoc kicking out with a second finisher. Belly to belly there. Attempting to get his comeback going here. And in the end, it doesn't even show the main finish. Fantastic! <laughs> Tough enough production. So we've had LBS, we've had Zayze, and we've had Havoc win, but they might not go through. So remember, look in the description for the votes. It's all up to you who goes through to the semi finals. It doesn't matter if they won or if they lost. It's all down to that subscriber vote. So for now, that is the end of Tough Enough Quarter Final Part 1. Up next is Part 2, where we will have. Sabin versus Franchise starting us off. So look out for that one.